In the darkest days of the Second World War, the trenches along the German front lines were a place of unspeakable horror. Private Hans Keller, a young and fearful soldier, had been thrust into this abyss of death and despair. As he huddled in a makeshift bunker, rain poured relentlessly, turning the trench into a muddy, nightmarish purgatory. The relentless pounding of artillery echoed through the earth, shaking the nerves of every soldier. Hans shivered, not from the cold, but from the dread that had taken root in his soul. He clutched his rifle, his knuckles white as he stared into the shadows. Hans had heard whispers, whispers of a malevolent entity that prowled the trench at night, claiming the souls of those who dared venture out after dark. Some said it was a demon, a curse cast upon them for their sins in this unholy war. The trenches were alive with the eerie sounds of despair, a cacophony of moans, cries, and the distant roar of battle. As night fell, the air grew thick with dread, and the men huddled together like frightened children. Hans's bunkmate, Muller, leaned close, his voice trembling. Have you heard it, Keller? The creature. They say it comes for us, one by one. Hans nodded, his throat dry. Yeah, I've heard the stories. Muller's eyes darted nervously to the trench entrance. It takes them in the dark. They scream, and then, silence. Hans couldn't deny the truth in Muller's words. There had been disappearances, whispered stories of soldiers found lifeless, their faces etched in terror. The trench fell into an uneasy silence as the men waited for the inevitable. Hours dragged on, and Hans's eyelids grew heavy. He fought sleep, for in this place, slumber meant vulnerability. But exhaustion overcame him, and he drifted into an uneasy dream. In his dream, he was alone in the trench, surrounded by the cold, damp walls. Moonlight filtered through the narrow opening above, casting eerie shadows. A raspy, guttural whisper echoed in his ears, and he turned to find himself face to face with a creature, a grotesque, twisted abomination. It had no eyes, only empty sockets that seemed to pierce his soul. Its limbs were long and sinuous, like twisted tree branches, and it moved with a horrifying grace. It reached out a bony hand toward Hans, its fingers ending in sharp, gnarled claws. Hans awoke with a start, drenched in cold sweat. He glanced at the sleeping soldiers around him, grateful for the dim light of the trench lantern. It was just a dream, he told himself, but the fear lingered. As dawn broke, the tension in the trench eased slightly. Soldiers went about their duties, trying to maintain a semblance of normalcy. Hans couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. The creature seemed to exist on the edge of his vision, lurking in the periphery. That evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the trench fell into darkness once more. Hans felt a growing unease, a primal fear that urged him to stay hidden. But duty called, and he ventured out with his comrades. As they patrolled the trench, a blood-curdling scream pierced the air. Hans's heart raced as he followed the sound, his comrades closed behind. They found a soldier, Muller, lying lifeless on the muddy ground. His face was contorted in terror, and his eyes were wide and vacant. Hans stared in horror, his mind unable to comprehend the sight before him. It was true, the creature was real, and it had claimed another victim. The remaining soldiers huddled together, clutching their rifles with trembling hands. The creature was out there, lurking in the shadows, waiting for its next prey. As the night wore on, the soldiers' nerves frayed, and their fear deepened. The trench became a place of whispered prayers and desperate pleas for salvation. Then, from the darkness, a guttural whisper echoed, a whisper that seemed to emanate from all directions. The soldiers froze in terror as they felt the presence drawing closer. Hans's heart pounded in his chest as the creature emerged from the shadows, its empty sockets fixated on him. It moved with a sinister grace, its claws outstretched, ready to claim its next victim. But Hans was different. He had faced the creature in his dreams, and he had seen the true horror that lurked beneath its twisted exterior. With newfound courage, he raised his rifle and fired, his shots finding their mark. The creature let out an otherworldly scream that was instantly interrupted by the sound of bombs and mortars falling around the German trenches. Everything was covered in dust and darkness, an abysmal blackness typical of the moment that precedes death. Perhaps Hans had defeated the creature but the war continued and claimed more lives. From that day he knew that some horrors could not be explained solely by the brutality of war. The trenches of World War II were a place where the boundaries between the living and the dead, between reality and nightmare, were blurred beyond recognition.